Woody Chichester, genderqueer. I remember a field trip I took with my class in third grade. We were visiting a farm next to a river. It was a hot afternoon and our teacher said we could take off our shoes and socks to wade. My dad was one of the trip chaperones and he took off his shirt to sit in the sun. I took my shirt off too and walked in the shallows just wearing my shorts. Some of my classmates noticed. Look Maya, took her sh look Maya took her shirt off like a boy. What? Ha ha, question mark. My teacher intervened. Maya dear, you should put your shirt back on. Why? You just need to come put it on, put it back on now. I walked back to put my shirt on again, but I didn't feel like I had done anything wrong. When I read this book a few years ago, I wished I had a book like this when I was a teenager, when I was a tween, because it resonated with me so deeply. Um, I can remember doing things like that, wondering why couldn't I wear a shirt to go swimming? Uh, why I had to wear a bra or why I had to pee sitting down, things like that. Um, taking books like this away from kids who need to see these stories, hear these stories is wrong, so wrong, so wrong. Book bans are stupid. And people who want to ban books are usually pretty stupid and have never been in a library probably. I mean, that's always generally what I think. So stop banning books or else.